One of the things, first things I'm going to talk to you about is the PanelView 5310. It's the newest addition to the PanelView 5000 family. Uh, it works with Studio 5000 View Designer, latest uh, version that's available. Uh, it's primarily designed for small to uh, medium sized applications. It uh, specifically works with one controller, 50 screens, and 1,000 alarms. Basically works with the new uh, controllers, the 5370, 5380, and the L7 and L8, version 27 and above. Some of the hardware features you see there, it comes in a variety of sizes, 6 to 12 inch. Uh, it comes in a touch only. Uh, it does have only an aluminum bezel, so it does not work in uh, hazardous environments, applications that you might have like that. Uh, it has a single Ethernet port, and it only comes into DC power. From a software standpoint, some of the neat features that it has, uh, the main one being uh, vector-based graphics. Uh, if you've ever had to uh, migrate a, an old panel view a size 7 to a 15, for example, and resized it, rescales all the graphics, the text, and all that that you have to go through and, 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 and do all that when you change it out. With vector-based vector graphics, it automatically adjusts itself to whatever resolution that you have and the size, so it takes all that extra work away from you. Um, it also introduces this concept of a high-speed jog push button. As you know, panel views sort of inherently have some latency in the buttons. So when you have uh, an application such as a jog where you, ne you need an immediate uh, connection between the push button and the controller, you can't use an HMI. Well now, with this HMI, uh, there's a special high-speed instruction in the controller that has a direct connection to a push button object in the HMI. So now you can do that jog function within the panel view. So think about it, just the effort it takes to put a button in there, wire it up and all that, whereas now you can just add a button on the HMI, put the instruction in the uh, program, and voila, you have a uh, high-speed jog push button. The other thing it takes advantage of is uh, a new type of alarm that's being introduced in version 31 of the software. Uh, it's tag-based alarming. So there's no programming required to do anymore. You don't have to create the triggers and the descriptions and all that. It's automatically available to you in the alarm uh, uh, features of the panel view. It also has a new default system banner. You don't have to go to the trouble to create that. It provides all that information for you. Uh, there you can see it has a little icon for notifications, screen navigation, lets you know who the user's logged in. Uh, date and time information. So saving you on the time and effort of developing the application and, de and deploying it. And one of the other features it has is some advanced diagnostics. Uh, and this is focused around the physical components of the system, the HMI, the controller, or the network. Uh, a lot of times those things uh, can get a little bit cumbersome in uh, uh, trying to troubleshoot and all that. Now it's got some nice uh, display screens there that you can access that information directly and help you troubleshoot it. 